That storm system is heading our direction tomorrow. It may bring a strong storm or two, but shouldn't be anything uh, like what portions of the center plains have seen so far uh, yesterday. Portions of the Mid-South are seeing today. Depends on where you are today, what you're seeing. We have a lot of cloud cover out in Smithfield. Here's a live look uh, in Smithfield, looking at Town Hall, 63 degrees. You can see the cloud decks kind of socked in. Those of you in Raleigh saying, what clouds? Lots of sunshine across the center portion of the viewing area. Goldsboro, you're also locked into the cloud cover. 62 degrees is your current temperature. And these clouds have been stubborn today. And because of that, temperatures have been held down into the coastal plain. Upper 50s still for Roanoke Rapids, mid 50s for South Hill. Everybody else in the coastal plain checking it into the lower 60s. Until Hill, you kind of get out of the cloud deck. Clinton's just emerged at 66, 67 in Fayetteville, 72 in Rayford, the warm spot, which has been seeing lots of sunshine, 67 in the Triangle for both Durham and RDU, which is significantly warmer than this time yesterday, yet locations in the coastal plain anywhere between about 3 and 15 degrees colder compared to this time yesterday as well. So you can tell where the clouds have been <laughs> where you haven't really seen much of a change. That's the clearing line. Everybody to the west of that, sunshine. Everybody to the east of that, you've been stuck in the cloud cover, and these clouds really aren't going anywhere. Here's a satellite loop over the last three hours, and really everybody along I-95 socked into the clouds. And again, you can see Clinton just now starting to emerge out of the cloud cover. Some of those clouds were in eastern Cumberland County. Those have cleared out. So if you look off to the east from portions of the triangle, you can see the clouds out there. And they've been trying to erode away, but haven't had a lot of luck doing that so far today, thanks to low-level moisture in place. Our next system is back off to the west. This cold front will be arriving as we head into tomorrow afternoon. With it, notice a lot of rain associated with it. There were some thunderstorms and tornado warnings earlier today. In fact, Memphis may have been hit by a tornado earlier. That storm system, though, has weakened for now, but may get reinvigorated as it heads over top of us through the day tomorrow. So that's something we're watching for, and that's why tomorrow is the CBS 17 Storm Team Alert Day. As we head through your rest of the day today, again, we'll try and clear the clouds out of the coastal plain. I think we're going to be unsuccessful in doing that through the day today. So we keep clouds around there overnight. We'll all see clouds build in by sunrise, and we could see a couple of morning showers, and morning rain is good tomorrow. That'll put a lid on any uh, really severe threat as we head through the day. Starting about lunchtime, that's when storms will start arriving from west to east. And again, depending on if we see rain in the morning, that may taper our severe threat just a bit. Futurecast is trying to touch off a couple of thunderstorms. Will likely, again, depending on what happens in the morning hours, and any storm that does fire, we'll keep an eye on as they could try to get strong to severe as we head through the back part of the day. Because of that, we have a slight risk of severe weather. That's level two out of five uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. May concern damaging wind and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Again, slow Light, a very small chance of something we're watching. 75 for us tomorrow with those showers and storms around. 68 for us on Wednesday as we dry out for Thursday as well. Before we see our next system arrive Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that will bring us more rain showers heading into the weekend.